What's up, everybody? It's the Digital World Podcast. And um, I just want you guys to look at this chart. We got a lot to go over today. And, you know, at, I, I got a pretty interesting topic to talk at the end of this uh, video. So let's get moving here. Top marginal state income tax rates. And you can see California is like 14.6, New York 11.7. 11. 11. It is brutal. And you see, after a while, uh, Hawaii 11%. After a while, it's just you see why people move to these um, states that don't have any income tax, like uh, Nevada, Texas, Florida, um, or Tennessee, especially because like they're looking for their freedoms as well. Um, they don't like the tyranny that they've been living under. But hopefully, in moving, you know, they don't bring along those same uh, uh, voting policies or, or that the same votes and vote the same way in the new place they're at. Um, because then they're just going to, you know, turn that place around as well. So um, I think that this is an interesting chart to look at, nevertheless. You have to uh, watch this video. This is actually quite astonishing. Uh, looking at the numbers from the Great Depression versus where we are now. So, and that's that's a result of central banking. A hundred years worth of that. Take a listen. Are in a silent depression. When you compare the Great Depression to today, this is going to absolutely blow your mind. In 1930, during the Great Depression, the average home in America was $3,900. The average car was $600, and the average monthly rent was $18 bucks or $216 a year, and the average salary was $1,300 for the year. Fast forward to today, it is $436,000 for the average home, forty-eight dollars for the average car, and the average rent is $2,000 a month or $24,000 a year, and, that is, and we have a $56,000 income for the average American right now. So if you look back to the Great Depression, the house was only three times the average salary. Now it is eight times the average salary. The car was 46% of the salary. The car today is 85% of the salary. And here's the craziest part. The rent was 16% of the average salary. It is now 42% of the average salary. And you look at those numbers and you're like, what has happened? And folks, right now, uh, I'm a, actually, I think I have a chart of it. Um, so I'll, I'll get into that right now. Let me get that chart pulled up. There it is. Okay. So um, here, usually, you see that the Fed usually is done hiking once, you know, you start seeing the jobless claims go up. And here you can see what he says. It always pauses when the unemployment rate rises off its cycle bottom. Unemployment kicked up to a three-year high of 3.8%. The Fed's goal to loosen the labor market is taking shape. The question is, how long can it hold before it cuts? So essentially, this is uh, the job that claims in red. Okay, And then in blue is the federal uh, interest rates. And we can see usually... Um, that the pause happens right when we start rising in unemployment okay so if we see here um, we've paused right about right there and so um, and then cutting you know takes place soon thereafter so in this case we just had uh, the highest unemployment in, in three years 3.8 percent and so um, it's probably safe to assume that the Fed has paused, okay? And what that means is we're going to get a lot of unemployment. Okay, existing home sales tend to decline before recessions. We see in 2008, that was the case. Um, here we see in the 80s, okay? This is the way it happens, and we can see it right now. That's what's happening. And folks, we've been talking, if you've been following this channel for, you know, a while, you understand. I've been presenting and I've been saying things are going to start to take a turn. Um, and 
there's a way where um, this could be exacerbated slash propped up artificially. And that's what we're going to talk about at the end of this video. But I think something's on the horizon. Here's another chart. Excess household savings in the U.S. have fallen for 23 straight months. Uh, since 2022, excess savings in the U.S. have been falling by $100 billion per month on average. San Francisco Fed estimates the remaining household savings will be depleted this quarter. Just over two years ago, Americans had a record $2.1 trillion in excess savings. Current estimates put savings at mere $190 billion. That will soon be the answer for many people. So uh, aside from having horrendous, um, uh, you know, outlook for the American household, um, I think it's important to note that that's the majority, but I think some people may also be taking their money out and putting it outside of the banking system uh, because of what's you know going on. Uh, however, I think most people are in, in a desperate situation, and that's why they're and, and plus the cost of everything is so high. So I mean, it makes sense that people literally um, are, don't have any savings. Okay. Now, this is where, you know, we get to the crossroads because we see this that's happening. And here the Fed estimates that household savings will be depleted this quarter. So what's got to give? And there's a credit, uh, sorry, a credit event, liquidity crunch that's going to happen. Um, the Fed has been telling, you know, uh, corporations between, you know, $100 billion to $250 billion valuations, hey, have an extensive amount of liquidity. Why would they say such a thing? We might be hitting a liquidity crunch here in the future. Uh, I think uh, Charles Schwab had um, that of like, I was looking at a chart, I can't remember what it was, but nevertheless, they had a large amount of debt and it was um, it was looking like it might come to maturity. And so, um, you know, can, will they be able to cover their costs for that day? Or, were, you know, what's got to give? So anyways, now enter the perfect scenario to, uh, you know, bring up an emergency. Um, if you guys have not heard of the Burning Man Festival in Nevada, I would highly recommend looking it up. There's been like 70,000 people that have been um, locked down in that area. And they're saying it's because, oh, it's the flooding, um, you know, you stay where you are. But apparently on the ground, people that are there, like there's people that are getting sick. And as you can read this here in this text message that's going around, um, it's saying that this guy is, you know, coughing up, you know, stuff. They saw a medic wearing a full suit. Um, and then just just and then people who flew in out of there to LAX apparently were being um, um, locked down and, and separated from the rest of the airport. So um, very interesting situation that's that's happening right now. Got to keep your eyes on it. Um, and it kind of coincides with that, you know, mid September um, that I've been talking about. So, um, you know, obviously I presented um, you know, this Jones clip and he was talking about mid September and October, you know, things could start escalating all the way up until December. So anyways, uh, thank you for watching. Like, and subscribe to the channel, it's the digital World podcast, and I'll see you in the next episode.